Okie dokie. Third day of the block. It's like taking stepping stones one step at a time and eventually you get to the point where you want to be. Um, it's a day of deadlifts. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn the music off for a second. It's my alarm. Anyways, um, as I was saying, pausing at the height of my knee, I go back down, pause again at the knee, and so on. That'll be three reps for eight sets. And uh, dumbbell death marches. My coach sent me the videos yesterday, and it seems terrifying. So I'm looking forward to suffer today. It's going to be a hard day. Yeah, and then I'll have leg presses and cluster sets, which means I'll have 10 reps, have a short pause, five reps, pause, five reps, pause, five reps. That'll be one set. I'll do two sets of them. This is um, something very new, but I'm really excited to test it out. New movements, new ways of training. It's something that your body is not familiar with. So afterwards, I'll have seated leg curls with standing one arm dumbbell presses and supersets without pauses between the sets again. Um, it's a different kind of stimulus that I'm giving to my body. And I think yesterday I was also kind of dying. Today, I'll be dead. The last one will be Y raises, kind of target my um, back shoulders, maybe a little back as well. Um, three sets of 20, that's gonna be it probably. It's not gonna take long, but I think I will suffer a lot today. Today I'm gonna give everything I have and then tomorrow hopefully I'll have a good night's sleep. All right, let's go to the gym. All right, so it kind of took a while to get a wreck. That's probably the reason why I don't like to train in this gym that much. Because, whew, all right, first warm-up set. I'm gonna do a bit of deadlift. I don't mean it in a bad way, but the gym is actually always crowded right after Christmas or New Year. People with new plans and new goals. That's good, but I know in a few weeks it's probably going to be empty again. Just do what you're doing. I don't care about the others. But I, <laughs> I don't feel like talking. But it's kind of the things that I wanted to overcome, so I'm going to do my thing. I don't really care about the others. All right, second warm-up set. through the cues again. Do a pause that lift. And at the height of my knee, I go up, I go down, another pause, and so on. Three reps without letting the bar go. All right, let's try it. to be this hard. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm probably speaking kind of the obvious. I'm not using straps and the problem I have in this gym, in this particular gym, is that all the bars that we have, are, I call them the butter bar. It's almost impossible to hold on to the bar. I mean, maybe I'm just moaning because I'm weak, but I found a solution for the bar, which is an OG style of, it's not a strap, so I wouldn't say it's cheating, but it's kind of cheating. I use a piece of paper to increase the friction between my hands and the bar, and it helps. I have to be honest, on the third set, I kind of lost the grip while going downwards on the third rep. So I decided, no, I'm not just gonna let my set fail because of my grip. And I'm using this OG method. It felt kind of promising. I know, I love the word promising, yeah? But yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, I like to think of why my coach tells me to do specific things. Ne, das ist ziemlich hell eigentlich. Und das kann ich auch so abmachen, dann ist es noch heller. Okay. Kind of spent too much time on deadlifting. So I'm moving right on to the leg press. Just trying to briefly do a warm up set and then I'll go into my main set. So, reminding myself of how this set is gonna work. 10 reps, a short pause, five reps, pause, five reps, pause, and five reps. All right, let's go. Thank you. Das Gewicht habe ich jetzt einfach... Ich setze mich einfach noch mit drauf. <lacht> ja, genau. <lacht> oh, ich habe so keinen Bock.
Mach nicht, mach nicht. Oh, danke. It's currently how I'm walking. But it's all your mind. To be honest, I didn't know, I didn't think I would make the second set. But I really took three minutes of rest between my sets. But the second one was surprisingly better than the first one. It was just my mind trying to push through the set and I'm enjoying it. It's burning, it's hurting, it's painful, but I enjoy it. So I might as well kind of messed it up, uh, the sequence of my training. I should have started with the death march. Now I did the leg press first. It's called the death march, it's gonna kill me. But it won't because I'm already dead after doing my leg presses. So let's give it a go. Whew. 20 steps. Alles gut? Yes, sir. Was denn? Äh, ein bisschen viel Scheiße heute. Ja. Oh, so. <lacht> How many sets do I need to do? Like, I don't want to make mistakes anymore. Eight reps for every single body part that I have. Yeah, let's go. <lacht> Uh, oof, all right.
last set of the day. Just want to go home now. Okay, let's go. Come on. Ten. Just a moment of silence. I don't, I'm not sure at which point I just decided to do my sets without talking because I was, I was really exhausted. Um, there were a lot of um, sessions today that kind of took my breath away. So I didn't really have time to think between my sets. Uh, but it was a, it's really refreshing to have sessions like this. And, and also the gym is rather full, I would say. And I didn't want to be like, speak in front of crowds saying, I gotta do my stuff. I just did my training that I'm supposed to do. So I'm gonna do a short recap here today. Do I have my iPad with me? No, I don't. So let me check. Um, hovering deadlifts, eight sets of three. I'm really unfamiliar with so much volume, but it felt surprisingly good, apart from the fact that I had problems with my grip. But it's something that I'm gonna work on in the future. Um, then I did the leg press first, the cluster set, wow. the first one I thought I was really dying. The second one turned out to be better than the first, but I was kind of tasting my blood. And then the death march, <laughs> I had a quite long pause between the second and the third because I was speaking to a friend of mine. I wouldn't say it was killing me. It felt terrible in the moment, but after the set, it, I would say it's an RPE 8.5, maybe an 8 and then the seated leg curl with standing one arm dumbbell press. I did the first three sets with 25 kilograms. And on the last set, I had to actually go higher, 30 kilograms. Um, but I think I could go a bit higher next time, maybe 35, maybe 32.5 from the start. The dumbbell press with 20 kg, that's what I did. I would like to go with 22.5 or 25 next time. The Y raises, uh, I did it with five kilos each on each side. I think RPE nine is exactly what I had. The last couple of reps that I threw in were also not that clean. So overall, I'm really satisfied with the training today. I just really love experiencing new things that my body is not really capable of or familiar with. So I don't say this often. I'm really happy with the results today. And speaking of which, I just want to talk about a few things. I don't really want to and get into details and tell people what they're supposed to do. But I see a lot of new beginners at the gym um, that are rather doing exercises because they think they need to. Christmas is over and the new year has started. So there are a lot of new people that I've never seen um, coming to the gym, having new goals, new motivation to be healthier, which is a good sign. And I'm really happy they're doing this. But I'm being really careful of what I'm saying because everyone has different perspectives of how they see their lives. I had friends of mine asking for tips, asking for motivation. And I tell them, I have exactly the same problem like you guys do. Every morning I wake up, I feel unmotivated. I don't want to go to the gym. If you're looking for motivation, it's going to make you go to the gym today. But it's not going to push you through weeks, months and years. It's not the motivation you're looking for. It's it should be a routine of yourself. I don't necessarily go to the gym because I get motivated and I, I don't search for, I don't actively search for motivation every single day. What a lot of people are actually not aware of is they are actually only looking towards their goal, kind of imagining how they would look like in a few years, what they will be lifting in a few years, but primarily you should try to seek the joy in the lifting itself. Try not to focus on the future, but just try to enjoy the moment you're at the gym while you're doing your sets or you're lifting heavy. Just, you need to enjoy it. And, but eventually this will happen if you are really interested in the fitness journey. And so basically what I'm trying to say is don't try to be so harsh on yourself. If you're not enjoying it, just don't look for reasons to go to the gym. I'm not saying this so that I can get a free rack when I get here. I'm not, and I'm not trying to tell you guys you, sh you shouldn't go to the gym. I kind of have the feeling that I'm 
kind of losing my point, but what I'm really trying to say is you should do things that make you happy in your life. And I found it for myself, which is going to the gym. And of course, I do imagine myself what I would be squatting in 10 years or how I would look like in 10 years. But don't make these things frustrate you at the moment because you're not there yet. It's the progress that you should love. And I don't want people to feel terrible because they're at the gym. What I was trying to say about motivation is motivation should not be the only reason why you're hitting the gym. You should have a reason for it. And for me, it's satisfaction. I go to the gym because it makes me happy. That is probably the most strongest argument that I can give somebody when they ask, why do you hit the gym? So anyways, um, that's probably it. I'm going to have a good rest tomorrow and I'll be back in two days with squat and bench. So, all right. See you guys.